This is my review, a quick look at the Ultra Voice XM8500 Dynamic Cardioid Vocal Microphone from Behringer. That is a bit of a mouthful. Something funny before I pull this little sleeve off. That picture is not a cardioid. That is a hypercardioid or supercardioid. There's not a whole lot of difference, but that is kind of a common thing that I've seen in cheap mics to call them a cardioid and then show a pickup pattern like this. So, whatever. Inside, you've got some paperwork, some warranties, you can see that it is black. It has this barcode on it that would be nice if they didn't stick that there. And you can tell its origin made in China. Um, the case is not bad. Um, however, I will never use anything like that. Uh, it comes with a mic clip. Pretty standard type thing. And it even comes with a 3 8 adapter, which is a plus. Um, obvious comparison this is you know one of the most widely used mics it's seems to be gradually getting phased out and replaced by the Sennheiser you know 835 or whatever but um, this is of course the SM58 and this is the kind of stuff that comes with this you've got a kind of a weird zip tie thing or a velcro strap and a mic clip that's probably not the one came with it but it's that's what it looks like when you get it um, you got a pleather pouch most sure mics come with one of those and here's the mic you can see the obvious comparison everybody has been copying this mic since pretty much since forever everyone has their version they are made in the United States as far as I know it is an American company Behringer is one of those companies that, uh, you know, kind of has a bad name, and on some level, rightly so. Um, here's a comparison. They're very similar. Um, you can kind of see the element is, looks like it's a little bit raised. Either that or maybe there's just a thicker piece of foam there. It's hard to tell what's inside of there, but it's very similar design. Um, the globes are probably not interchangeable. Maybe they are. Uh, if you put that, if it did fit on there, yeah, most people would think it was a 58. Um, let's see if this one will go on here and that'll tell you. No, it's definitely a different thread. Uh, the Behringer has a larger size, so that's fine. Um, they both come apart at another place here and then have some wires inside. Not anything groundbreaking there. It feels like a pretty rugged construction weight-wise. You know, just in my hands, the sure feels just a... You can see there's a little more junk in there. They, they put it like... Uh, looks like hot melt or whatever in there to help stabilize stuff and maybe it's a little bit of a ballast I don't know anyway um, weight wise the sure is definitely just a touch heavier uh, I'm not gonna put it on a scale that's not a big factor um, of course the a dynamic mic by nature is going to be you know rugged there's not a lot of moving parts. Um, these are these are both made out of, you know, I would say without putting a, a magnet on them. I believe the the handles are aluminum, so a lot of the construction is aluminum. The grill is probably mild steel, but uh, I doubt that either one of these is going to give you any problem with normal use, um, and probably with a fair amount of abuse as well. But okay, the next thing I want to look at, I've got uh, just an earbud with some pink noise. And I'm going to shut up and let you see the results yourself.
Okay. Do the same thing for the SM58. Let's do a little handling noise comparison. One last comparison before I call this a wrap. This is what my voice sounds like. I'm not going to sing into these microphones. I will spare you that. But I thought you should get a good sound bite as to the tone of this microphone. Um, it is a natural substitute for your SM58. So if you are on a tight budget, if you're a church, if you're a small venue... If you just need a mic that works, maybe you're a summer camp or a, uh, an amateur of some sort, and you just need a microphone, this is going to do you just fine. If you're a professional, out of these two, you'll probably just go ahead and go with the SM58. The, the $100 cost at that point is pretty negligible. Um, one thing that can happen when you show up as a live sound guy to an event um, they sometimes have certain brands that they allow and brands that they don't allow to get that contract to do that live sound gig. Um, if you, if you're not involved in anything like that, I think the Behringer is going to suit you. The SM58, I've stood behind, I have many of them, and they have dropped these out of helicopters, driven over top of them with tour buses, drive nails with them. They just always, always work. And that's generally the reputation of a sure microphone. They always work. It doesn't mean they always have the best sound. It doesn't mean they always have the best rejection of unwanted noises and feedback. They just work. That's their reputation. Behringer, on the other hand, it's hard to know what you're going to get. Uh, sometimes they're really good quality and a really good value. Sometimes they will let you down. Um, I think they're trying to turn the page and make their brand something better than historically it has been. I mean, like their guitar pedals and things of that nature. Some of their stuff has just been awful. Um, but then again, you know, they're buying out uh, quality companies and, and using some of their technology and their uh, newer, you know, devices. And, you know, there's still that stigma that goes along with the with a name like that and if you need to pay for a brand name well you're you're not going to get that from Behringer but in my opinion this mic if you're on a tight budget totally worth $20 um, the customer that this one is for is a, is a camp where their equipment tends to just disappear um, it doesn't make much sense to spend more than that for a microphone in that condition um, so tell me what do you think how do you like the tone of these obviously you get a stronger signal out of a Behringer which is kind of a plus it's a fifth of the price which is definitely a plus no switch on either one of these switches on microphones are just evil um, leave a comment below let me know I have not listened to any of this footage yet but I suspect that it's perfectly satisfactory but leave me a comment, let me know what you think uh, about the sound of these. Is it worth five times as much to get the, you know, classic SM58? Uh, and thanks for watching.